7 Ways to Get Rid of Heartburn Without Medicine A slight hiccup, followed by a burning sensation in your chest and throat. If you experience heartburn, you might know the feeling well. It happens when your stomach acid gets pushed up into the esophagus, which is the tube that carries food from the mouth to the stomach. Some reflux is totally normal and harmless, usually causing no symptoms. But when it happens too often, it burns the inside of the esophagus causing pain. An estimated 14 to 20 percent of all adults in the U.S. have reflux in some form or another. It may be triggered by the foods you eat. Or perhaps you have gastroesophageal reflux disease, a chronic condition with many potential causes. Whatever the cause, heartburn is uncomfortable and inconvenient. But what can you do when heartburn strikes? In this video, we'll go over some quick tips to get rid of heartburn and that too without the need for medicine. We'll share with you some very easy tips and tricks that'll do the work. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our amazing videos. Let's begin. Baking soda and water. You may have an indigestion cure close by in your kitchen without knowing it. Baking soda can quiet a few episodes of indigestion by neutralizing your stomach acid. Mix a teaspoon of baking soda in a glass of water and drink it slowly, sip by sip. This will give baking soda enough time to effectively neutralize the acid in your stomach and relieve the pain. Chewing gum. It might sound weird, but it actually works. Chewing gum for half an hour after meals may also help reduce heartburn. But how can this be possible? Actually, chewing gum stimulates saliva production and swallowing. This helps dilute and clear stomach acid from your esophagus, relieving the symptoms. Avoid overeating. If you experience heartburn quite often, the first thing, that you should start following is avoiding large meals. Where the esophagus opens into the stomach, there is a ring-like muscle known as the lower esophageal sphincter. It acts as a valve and is supposed to prevent the acidic contents of the stomach from going up into the esophagus. It naturally opens when you swallow, belch, or vomit. Otherwise, it should stay closed. In people with acid reflux or heartburn, this muscle is weakened or dysfunctional. Acid reflux can also occur when there is too much pressure on the muscle, causing acid to squeeze through the opening. Unsurprisingly, most reflux symptoms take place after a meal. It also seems that larger meals may worsen reflux symptoms. One step that will help minimize acid reflux is to avoid eating large meals. Elevate the head of your bed just a little. Lying down can aggravate acid reflux. When it's time for bed, adjust your sleeping surface to raise your upper body. When we say so, lifting your head with additional pillows isn't going to be enough. The aim is to raise your body from the midsection up and letting gravity do its work. If you have an adjustable bed, set it at an appropriate angle to give slight alleviation to your head side. You can have the same effect by raising the head side of your bed, by placing bricks under it. By doing this, gravity will do its work by keeping the acid from coming up into the esophagus, relieving the heartburn. Don't eat within three hours of going to bed. People with acid reflux are generally advised to avoid eating within the three hours before they go to sleep. Consider this. If you have taken a meal, just before going to bed, all of that food will be present inside of your stomach. When you lie down, it'll be easier for it to be forced into the esophagus. On the other hand, if you take your meal at least three hours before going to bed, it'll have traveled as far as your lower guy by the time you go to the bed. That'll make it difficult for it to be forced into the esophagus and cause heartburn. Don't sleep on your right side. Several studies show that sleeping on your right side may worsen reflux symptoms at night. Let us explain this one. The stomach is placed in the abdomen on the left. 
The esophagus enters the right side of the stomach. As a result, when you lay on your right side, stomach acid covers the lower esophageal sphincter. This increases the risk of acid leaking through it and causing reflux. Obviously, this recommendation may not be practical, since most people change their position while they sleep. Yet resting on your left side might make you more comfortable as you fall asleep. Lose weight. We know this is the most difficult step that we have mentioned. But if you are overweight and living with acid reflux, then obesity might be the primary cause of your heartburn. Let's break this down. The diaphragm is a muscle located above your stomach. In healthy people, the diaphragm naturally strengthens the lower esophageal sphincter, or simply the lower esophageal valve. This valve prevents excessive amounts of stomach acid from leaking up into the esophagus. However, if you have too much belly fat, the pressure in your abdomen may become so high that the lower esophageal valve gets pushed upward, away from the diaphragm's support. This condition is known as a hiatus hernia. Hiatus hernia is the main reason obese people and pregnant women are at an increased risk of reflux and heartburn. Losing weight should be one of your priorities if you live with acid reflux. So these were all the tips and tricks that you can try to get rid of heartburn or acid reflux without medicine. There are many more, but we have collected the most trusted and tried ones for you. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful and share it with the people suffering from this condition. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our amazing videos. You can also watch our other videos suggested just for you.